Hello guys, uh, welcome back to Narain Projects. Uh, today we are going to see the project demonstration of a gesture based blind talk system. Uh, so uh, this is a, a Raspberry Pi based project. Uh, let us see what are all uh, included in this project. So the basic concept of this project is uh, a deaf or dumb or a blind can't able to uh, discuss with the person who is in front of uh, them so actually the, the aim of this project is a gesture based uh, 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 voice control system for uh, deaf and dumb people so here uh, the basic logic behind this project is uh, if you are showing a finger uh, like gestures not a finger uh, gestures a different type of gestures basically a deaf and dumb people uh, can talk to each other using some sign languages right so here the those type of sign languages we are going to integrate it with the raspberry pi and a camera uh, with uh, bluetooth speakers we are going to give the voice output so let us see how uh, it will work so the basic procedure of this project is uh, like first we need to connect the raspberry pi using the vnc viewer actually uh, the people who, uh, who work with the uh, raspberry pi uh, can aware about how to connect with the using the vnc viewer so we are uh, connecting the uh, raspberry pi using the vnc viewer first i need to check the uh, ip uh, of the raspberry pi using the ip scanner now i'm scanning that uh, uh, ip of the raspberry pi so after identifying the I ip i copy that ip and put it in the vnc viewer and i open the uh, desktop of the raspberry pi in my laptop so here you can see the basic setup uh, the setup includes a raspberry pi a usb camera and a bluetooth speaker now you can see uh, this is the uh, basic ideology of the project uh, so now uh, actually this project will not uh, will work without the laptop but for demo purpose we are uh, showing that uh, how the image was captured and how the image processing was done everything okay so actually we developed the entire uh, project using uh, python language using uh, some ai methods artificial intelligence and machine learning techniques was used in this project uh, now you can see uh, my uh, developer is showing uh, their uh, finger in front of the camera uh, you can uh, hear the voice uh, like uh, uh, it's saying a different uh, for five fingers i uh, store different type of uh, voice notes so for each uh, gestures it's giving different different type of voice notes here so here you can see the different gestures was given in front of the camera so you can hear the voices So this is how the entire project was uh, designed and uh, this project cost me around uh, like uh, 6000 to 7000 uh, for Raspberry Pi camera and the speakers and I put, I put my effort to develop the project. So this is the output of this project. Let us see the uh, second project, uh, which is the uh, SD line fault detection and auto cutoff system using Arduino. Okay, uh, actually, what is the HD line? 
high uh, capacity line which carries uh, the voltages like 11000 kilowatts like that so if any fault occur uh, for example uh, like uh, um, if any short circuit or open circuit happen it will cause a very huge damage to the people who are all uh, staying near that hd line so uh, for the precaution we have created a prototype with the two towers with two hd lines actually we used 220 volt only but we can't be able to use two uh, hd uh, uh, lines in the normal testing uh, atmosphere so we used a normal uh, uh, 220 volt supply so the entire setup includes a arduino lcd display relay current sensors and uh, uh, and load load for load we use a, a lamp uh, so the concept of this project is uh, uh, two methods one is a open circuit and another one is a closed circuit so let us see this is a short circuit so if any short circuit happen between two hd lines you can see short circuit fault detected okay this is one condition and also <coughs> if any open circuit uh, is detected it will show open circuit is detected so that that uh, precautions will be taken according to the uh, thing so uh, the basic uh, uh, components included in this projects like uh, a step down transformer for uh, short circuit uh, kind of thing and uh, arduino nano and you can see the components here uh, lcd display current sensors for l1 and l2 so this is the uh, basic setup for demonstration so uh, this project can be uh, in future uh, this project can be uh, up upgraded to uh, like uh, uh, with auto cutoff system also auto cutoff system and also intimations iot these are all the features we can able to include in this project in future so uh, Actually, we, we uh, designed this project for a single phase. So we used uh, two cables. So the same project can be implemented in three phases uh, with different type of uh, faults. So the next project is uh, PIR based, PIR based safety alarm. So this is a very basic project. Uh, which is uh, designed for a uh, school students so actually actual uh, working of this project is like if any human is detected in front of the sensor it will make a alarm so the main application of this project is for safety purpose you can fix anywhere for example if you are having a wall sorry compound wall and uh, if you want to uh, check if anyone is crossing the compound wall or if you if you are setting a border if anyone is trying to cross that border you can uh, use this type of uh, projects for safety purpose and also here we included a servo motor the servo motor you can include in the uh, like any any type of thing here you can uh, see in the demo uh, first the servo motor uh, is uh, scanning for any human in front of the PAR so now one of my people standing in front of the sensor it will immediately detect and start buzzering so the buzzer will continue until the person uh, move away from the sensor. So actually this project included a components like Arduino and a buzzer and a servo motor. The servo motor you can uh, place the PR sensor above the servo motor and the servo motor. So the next demonstration we are going to see is a Li-Fi based emergency broadcast system with a drone. So actually the aim of this project is uh, for example if uh, uh, if a group of people are going for trekking inside the forest. Uh, so we know very well that inside the forest no communication devices will work. So if anyone stuck in, inside the forest uh, uh, they are not returning to the base camp. We can send a drone for rescue immediately we can send a drone for rescue here we used a li-fi technology where different colors of uh, li-fi lights are there 
so basically we know very well that uh, uh, lifi is nothing but uh, transferring the data through lifi so here uh, so different type of uh, uh, lifi colors will denote different type of uh, request for example if a vehicle is get uh, damaged or they they got uh, stuck in some po some places uh, any type of medical emergency is required in danger like that four different type type of commands were was uh, pre programmed inside the uh, lights so if uh, a ppl uh, this entire circuit the lifi circuit uh, was kept inside the vehicle and uh, uh, the, if the vehicle is get or if the person is get any emergency situation they turn on these lights the light will turn on uh, still the acknowledgement is get from uh, the base camp and also we included gsm modem it also trying to communicate with the base station if the gsm is working it will directly communicate the emergency situation to the base camp if the gsm is not working the network is not there then this is a uh, drone setup including a lifi receiver uh, you can see that uh, there is a port diode which can receive the signals from the lifi transmitter so whatever the data they are transferring from the lifi was received by that uh, receiver through drone and the data will be transferred to the software part this is the iot part where user can log in and if any person requested for support it will automatically intimate here the exact location that uh, uh, drone in the drone we uh, we set up a gps so the, the gps will give the exact location so here you can see i think you are not uh, seeing clearly i'll uh, upload this video in separately so here you can see they, they are asking for the help from different different location a date and time all are displayed here so whatever the help requested by the person was displaying here so this is the uh, complete uh, setup so here uh, there are four uh, switches where you can able to switch the signals and whatever the signals they are uh, sending it was received actually uh, we can't able to fly the drone because the drone is not lifting the uh, weight of that uh, 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 receiver part so we are just showing the demonstration so whenever the drone is flying in the particular area it will automatically receive the signal which is transferred from the lifi and the data will be sent to the iot part so that uh, the person from uh, who is looking out the iot part can uh, send the rescue team to the particular place to rescue the particular people so you can see the data was transferred and the data will be received you can see the data here in the iot part so this is the concept of this project so uh, the next project uh, we are going to see is uh, a river a cleaning robot so this is a prototype actually so if any uh, actually this is an autonomous robot it will automatically float in the rivers and if any obstacles detected in front of the robot it will automatically uh, take that uh, obstacle and put it into the basket so this is the concept of this uh, robot so you can see my person is uh, keeping some hand in front of that uh, robot it will automatically capture the waste and it will put it in the bin so this is a complete setup and it is operated by the solar power and there are two ultrasonic sensor one is for obstacle detection this is an autonomous robot so if any obstacle is detected it will automatically turn the robot into left or right direction and another ultrasonic sensor is used to detect the waste in front of the robot and uh, the waste collector was connected with the servo motors and there are two propellers and uh, the arduino controller was was used and it was completely powered by a lithium ion battery 
a motor driver was used to operate the propellers and uh, it was designed uh, with the vacuum tubes uh, high pressure tubes so it will float in the water so now you can see if any obstacle is detected the boat is going backward and turning left side then it's going forward direction so if continuously obstacle is detected it will repeat the same operation until you get the path